Bam. Hey guys, I got my jigging rod out, as y'all can see. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm chasing the fish. First time I've used this jigging rod for about two years. Now I'm not taking it back. Last time I used it, I forgot about this, was with Sam on, uh, in October. First time I used it last year, and it's the first time I've used it this year. I've got to get used to it. I swung the fish to me just now. He went to the left of me and went past me. I didn't do a very good job. I don't use it much. This is the time of year that it's actually good to use. The fish are roaming. And with the longer rod, I can control the bait when it's 20 foot less of the boat. I think I can slow it down more by just lifting up and down on the rod. That's a nice fish, guys. Bam. He's probably 12 and a half. I said that in a video I was editing this morning. I said the fish was in area 12. And I was watching the video. I said, yeah, Dennis, he's probably 11 and a half to 11 and three quarter. Yeah, I don't try to get precise, guys. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll get down to the 16th. All right, guys, that color right here, first cast with it, actually. And seriously, it was the first cast with it. I've been throwing another color on this rod, and uh, they've been chasing it, but, and one grabbed it, and I messed him. This is called a sunbird. Now, you know, Flamingo is my pink color. I call it Flamingo, right? If you buy pink by itself in some of the small baits, it's called Flamingo, which is a bird. So this is Sunbird because it's got a chartreuse tail. Guys, I've got over 80 colors. I say this a lot. Sometimes I get the colors mixed up. So if I do, I'll put it on the screen. And I, I said this the other day, I'm going to start writing on the screen sometimes some of the colors. And that way we know, we know what the colors are because I'll check when I get home, look at my, look online and see. Y'all can see the water is dirty. So, the video I loaded yesterday, today's Thursday. The video I loaded Wednesday, Sam said, Sam Wallace Adventure said, I think you could walk across that water. Yeah, Sam, I think it's a touch better uh, than it was Tuesday, but not much. I think I can see down about four inches today instead of three. <laughs> but warmer, dirty water, I think, warms up a little better. There's a fish right here. Look here. One right there. And that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to sit here with my spot lock on. Y'all heard me say that in the video the other day. I love my spot lock. I wouldn't give it up for, for anything. Because I can I can sit here when these fish are roaming. They're just roaming open water. And uh, I didn't get close enough to him. There's two smaller ones here below him. I'm going to go ahead and bring it to them while I'm doing it. Uh, I can sit here right now with the wind blowing. And it's pushing me. Blowing. I'm facing the wind, as you can tell. And I can sit here and fish. And don't have to worry about controlling the boat. And I can take my pole right here and look around. And somebody asked me about this pole just this week. The pole is made by Fishing Specialties. Okay? That's an online site. That's why I bought it years ago. They don't owe me nothing. I don't owe them anything, guys. And that's that far enough I need the other rod. Because um, I don't think I can cast to him. He's going away from me, too. There comes another one in, though. But that's what I'm doing. Uh, just sitting here casting. Look, this one's really shallow. And he's only like five foot. And see, he's that way because the sun is penetrating this water. Now, I just came out here, guys. It's almost 2 o'clock. I've been out here about 20, 25 minutes. I figured that's what I would do. I bagged some baits this morning. I edited the video. This time of year, I fish in the afternoons. Like I said, I'm only about, I'm probably a mile and a half from my home right now. And I just run out, go to the mouth of the cove, look around on thing. I go on to the next one. I just run down the, down the creek and keep checking until I find some. This was the first place I stopped because the channel's right here. So that's the trick this time of year is get close to the channel. Uh, I heard somebody else say that the other day in a video. I think it was Crappy Connection. He said stay close to the channel. Maybe go up in the first ledge or mouth of a cove. That's where I'm at. It's close to the channel. Yeah, that's usually the thing to do. You see I'm in 18 foot. That's the thing to do this time of year. Stay close to the channel. They will move back in shallow water as the sun warms this cove. They might move further back in it. But you just got to have to check. If you got down imaging, just watch your down imaging or side imaging until you start seeing your marks and then fish. Sam shows you all that a lot on Wildlife Adventures. I hadn't even had my def on the dash on for two years. I use my live scope all times all I use. <laughs> I'm going to do a better job putting this in the boat, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, guys, I haven't moved. I moved, well, I moved forward just about 10, 15, 20 feet. 
put spot lock down again and just sit here watching like i said there's so many moving around here i'm just waiting for one to get close enough to throw at and usually i have one in sight all the time huh. i've got these uh i'm using this hook right here because i'm fishing this open water uh i said the other day who they're made by i forgot now that's about the same size he's probably 11 and three quarter i'm using them because they have a peel head uh and they have a little they have a little body thing to hold them on i think in this open water where i'm pitching them a lot it could be a plus i don't know but i've had them for three or four years and i figured hey i'm gonna use them use them up and they got a pink head that's what i want it to i found in this dirty water uh, i'm gonna tell y'all a secret now don't y'all tell everybody okay this is between me and you i have found that most of the time in dirty water pink and orange seems like the best two colors to throw on a head purple would probably be good too if we had a dark purple but and you can't you never can go wrong with chartreuse but i seem to like pink i seem to go to pink and like i said my next choice is orange y'all notice when i was fishing with sam i was using orange the other day in the last week i was using pink i don't know i use pink and orange so that water starts clearing then i like i like the blue and red and other colors in yellow yeah not chartreuse but yellow yellow is hard to find too all right How about six in a school right there i think it's most i've seen together for a while i didn't figure they was very big but i thought i'm gonna try to catch one of them there you go i'm not trying to catch monsters if i catch a big one that's fine if i see a big one i throw at it um they were all about the same size i i figured they were probably bigger than that though Oh, these two, these both looked up like pretty decent fish. I threw at them with my casting rod about four or five times. It was like, like 35 feet, and they kept coming toward the boat. When it got 25 feet, I switched to the jigging rod <laughs> and pitched it at them. So like I said, I think I can control it. He's about eight inches. I think I can control it uh, with this jigging rod a little bit better. When I get it above, I think I can stop and hold it for uh, maybe a second or two seconds before it starts sinking again. With the, with the length of the rod gives you that, right? uh i'm i'm gonna be over in the bait shop area this week this weekend maybe and uh i'm thinking about getting me a 12 foot rod that's no more than i use that it's kind of silly but i need to learn to use it more especially this time of year so either that i'm gonna buy me a couple new reels i noticed on that casting rod in the last video i edited and y'all probably already noticed it then the, the reel is noisy now these reels are five years old the Fluger presidents, what they, what are they? When I bought them, they was like forty dollars. I think they're fifty dollars now. I might have got them for like thirty-eight, and I bought five of them. And a couple of them are still okay, but the couple I use a lot and it got noisy. I got a Fluger president there. It's great. And I need to switch it and put it on one of these rods. I should do that tonight. And I got a Shimano down there on that rod, Shimano Sierra. I picked it up yesterday or Tuesday. My fish Tuesday. I picked it up. And I went, oh my gosh! As soon as I cast it, started real. I went, oh my gosh! It's so much smoother. <laughs> but hey, guys, it's a ninety-dollar reel, right? You go from forty dollars to ninety dollars reel, you can tell the big difference. This reel here is nice. Uh, this reel was gave to me. This is a nice reel. I think it's a quantum. It's a quantum. It's a nice reel. It does good. But of course, I haven't used it a whole lot. Those reels have been used a lot, casting on the docks, rolling back in. How many casts have they made? You know what? If I had $10 for every cast I've made in the last three or four years around boat docks and stuff, I could retire, couldn't I? We're going at this one. Yeah, I figured that was a good one. That was the biggest mark I've seen in this cove. All right, guys, I moved down here to a cove. Uh, just a little further down the lake. I thought I'd make a couple casts here before I give it up for the day. See if I could come up with... Oops. Making a lot of noise now. Ain't That's a decent fish. Bam. He's about 12 and... Uh, 12 and 3 eighths probably. Alright. Bam. What I'm talking about. Guys, I told you I moved. Oh, he was as big as I thought he was, but... Uh, the water's four degrees warmer right here, so don't be afraid to move. This I caught a big fish right here the other day. The reason I come back here, uh, the sun—it's not right now, but a couple probably hours ago, the sun was coming in this cove. Good. He's probably ten and ten and an eighth. Bam! I'm just catching them here, guys. Like I said, the water's four degrees warmer here. 
fish are more active here. Look at him, he took that bait. <laughs> He's about nine and a half. The camera might die on me, guys, because I just checked it. Said it was getting low, and I thought, we make one more cast. <laughs> and I'm going to switch it. And I won that one cast, I caught a fish. And a good one. Bam. And it's still going. <laughs> Where's the hook at? Oh, man. That's a good one, guys. He's probably 12 and three quarter. I don't think you'll quite make 13. Bam. All right, guys, there you go. All right, guys, I told you my camera might die. <laughs> it did. I was so there. I was going to say, there you go, guys. That's the end. And <laughs> I'm going to end this video, and she cut off. So I don't know where it ended at. I don't know where it cut off. It's something stupid, strange there. That's what it is, okay? That's a nice fish, guys. Bam. All right. I try to put this in a thumbnail every time. The picture of the bait I'm fishing with, so y'all have an idea of what I'm using. There you go. Again, I'll write the name on the uh, I'll write the name on the screen. I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah, that is a nice fish. I just put him in my net, hung my net over the side of the boat for a minute. All right, y'all check it out. Uh, Lake Country Baits. This color's on there. There's over 70 colors on there. All right, this is under tail colors. It's pink chartreuse tail. Okay. And uh, I think it, uh, think it'll work for you in this dirty water. Water visibility right now is about, might be pushing four inches. Yeah, you can see your bait down about four inches. And I'm in a cove. I'll add this, you know, because I try to share what I'm doing. I'm in a cove now, as y'all can see. There's the main lake. And I just came into this cove, and you can see there's fish right there. There's a little piece of trash right here. I knew it was there, but there's really no fish on it. Something small around it. But there's two decent fish at 25 and 35. That's about how big that mark was. He was 13 inches. Like I say, sometimes the marks are fool you. You think it's a decent fish till you catch him. <laughs> He's a small one. But hey, like I say, I'm fishing. I'll take them of all sizes. Appreciate y'all guys. Thank y'all for watching Fishing Lake Country. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Okay, hit the like button. That, that makes uh, YouTube share us more. The more likes we get, they say, hey, people must like him. And they start putting him on people's uh, front page. You know, when you load your, when you go and click on YouTube and all these thumbnails come up, all these videos, it'll put me right there on other people's pages so uh, my channel can grow, okay? And uh, I'm not trying to get to 10,000 or nothing like I hear guys going like, y'all comment 10,000, you know, and that's fine. That, that's not what I'm about. I want good, solid subscribers, and I got some that watch every week and make comments. That's great. Growing is a plus, but it's not a have to. My site, my channel is about this, and I said this last video. It's about me making baits and fish with them like I'm doing here, and fishing with stuff that I sell. So you can go, hey, Dennis used that bait in dirty water. That might be a couple of baits I need to get. Right now, our lake's dirty. You know, we get a lot of rain in the spring. I'm going to need that color. That color will work. Blue mist, Grenada, creamy. Uh, the, uh, this is a bright sharp pink, the bright pink with a short uh, short tree's tail. Um, sunbird, okay. Sunbird is the name of this one. Uh, look through there. Look through the uh, hot tails. There's black and short trees to the orange tails. I heard somebody say the other day they like black and short trees. I got black and short trees in three different ways with three different co uh, tail colors. I got plain black short trees. I got it with blue tail. I got it with pink tail. There is a lot of colors on my site. Fathead Minna, I got a globe bait that, that you can catch fish on. I caught a nice one on uh, Tuesday in this nasty water. You could take a UV flashlight, fire it up, charge it, and get as much glow as you want. I got glow baits in the sub and in the Fathead Minna. All right? And you see me fishing that uh, the video you're watching now for this week, the Porter Catch, a guy just won. No, excuse me. The Porter Catch coming up this coming Sunday will have the sub in it in three different colors, and one of them is Grenada Bug. I sell the Fathead Men in Grenada Bug, but not the sub, but it's coming soon. I'm making stock in it now. I'll continue to add colors to the Fathead Men and the sub because they're selling and they're catching fish. I got a video coming up with it this Sunday. You're going to see I caught some fish on it. All right, guys. Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. See ya.